Jill for ISL Collective and today we're going to talk about how to create stop motion explainer videos for your lesson. In a previous video I explained to you how you can create explainer videos with animation templates very quickly but today we're focusing on stop motion movies. What do you need for a stop motion movie? Pen and paper and a tablet or a phone but you can also use these cool figures as well for your stop motion movie. Now I'm going explain to you why and how these stop motion movies are useful in your teaching. We talked about flip teaching before. That means when you are creating such content for your students that helps them understand what the point of that grammar or language section is. After a while, you just explaining things can become a little bit boring and if you want some creativity, creating animated videos or creating your stop motion videos can create a variety and some interest for you and for your students as well. All right, so let's see what you need to do. First, you need to download Stop Motion Studio. Then you will need to go into that app and you will see a sample video, Big Fish, created for you so that you can see how you can put together a stop motion studio film. But we're not going to look at this amazing video right here. We're going to check out uh, my video that I created for the sake of this explainer video. As you can see, my 30 second stop motion video consists of 121 images and photos. I recorded the title letter by letter which actually took quite a long time. So, well, it depends on how you wish to put together your video. It does take quite a long time to photograph every single letter one by one. After I put the title together, I decided to take pictures word by word. Then I went on to draw the explanations, as you can see here, and then I wrote down the example sentences and underlined the key parts. If you click on the settings icon, you can set the speed. You can also set the aspect ratio, which means that you can set different uh, cutouts for your videos. If you click on an individual image, you can see all sorts of edit opportunities. And if you click on edit, you can also add certain things to your image, such as drawings, text, shapes, backgrounds, and faces. Unfortunately, not everything is for free, so check that before you add all sorts of things to your images. And once you're done, you can still add further images to your timeline, so you can take further photos and then your video is done. So you can go back to the start, play it one more time and check out how it looks in real time. So if this video made you interested in creating your own stop motion movies, feel free to create your own videos with the help of Stop Motion Studio and don't forget to turn them into video quizzes with the help of ISL Collective's video quiz creator and we can't wait to see your stop motion movies and the video quizzes. Bye!